Welcome guys to a tutorial how to make money on woods, right? We are by outskirts. There is outskirts, like 50 meters in that direction, right? We are next to the water here. There is a stash uh, here somewhere. Let me see. It's very dark, so I recommend going on, on, on a night raid here. Should brought some uh, night vision, but maybe we find one, right? So there is a stash there, right? There is dead man. Um, also an extraction. We can loot the body. We need a Emilia for our quest. Tape is also fine. You can go left or right. This is right side. You can go left and loot ZB14. We can go. I usually do this, right? So if you make it just for the money, right? Uh, avoid the center. Yes, in the center you can find moonshine on the table, in the cabins, under the table, because sometimes it's dropping. But most of the time you will find the thermo boy like me and he will pop your face off and you get nothing. Here BP, uh, PP, HP, here you find a lot of Eagle Nick, BS, Ammo, uh, 5 or 5 uh, best in slot, both of them are equal. Many people don't use BS and they say, ah, BS is not good. I killed a scab before, by the way. Um, here, you, I call this suppressor building because you find a lot of suppressors. People call it uh, attachment building and blah, 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 blah. You get the point. And I dropped two megs by now. Ah, uh, you can put this there. Please go there. Thank you very much. Find also sugar and the suppressors, right? We loot this. We kill this one. Here you can find also sugar and stuff. Hit him three times, by the way. M61. Okay. This uh, guy can have very often slicks and shit on him, so never forget to loot him. On many slicks like that. I'm really upset that I drop a mag. Okay, then we go here, you see the fallen tree, right? Here should be another one. You loot this and that and that. With uh, both bands, then we go further close to the sawmill. There is a stash here. You see there are like three bushes, one, two, three. It's here. They have a lot of goodies in them as well. They're my favorite. You can drop this, put this, so we make more space. And don't don't go to the sawmill, right? We go left to checkpoint. Let's see how much time we have left. 19 minutes. I already looted sawmill and everything what was there I already checked the the valley kick has spawned here you can find it here on the driver's seat uh, in front of the gray building in the back of the car on the right side and on the small building next to shoreline on the right side of sawmill from here you can also find on the table a violet kick has spawned so ZB14 is there. We we don't go now because it's it's too far. 
Let's go from here. You go to to your sick camp, right? From checkpoint, from there, you just go left up the the hill. Let's speed this up a little bit. Go up the hill. Check for PMCs. This is life, by the way. It's not a uh, offline mode. Best thing to do in Tarkov, like best money route you can ever have. And this is a pretty empty raid, by the way, guys. I. I think I'm alone on the whole map. I, I didn't hear a single shot. I didn't see a single scav killed. Nothing. So the, the, the less people are on the map, the less loot you get most of the time. So this is user camp. Check this. It's good to take, but I don't have the space for it. Here, hollow side suppressors. There can spawn Bitcoin, there can spawn Bitcoin, weapon crate, nothing interesting. Moonshine everywhere here, like there are so many spawns for moonshine. Uh, let's drink that. Here on the table you find pretty often moonshine. Uh, here on the on the floor you can find the USEC level 4 armor. A lot of times in the cars on the driver's seat, you can find modded M4 just a little bit modded. You know, the, the one with the hollow sight and, uh, and the flashlight. That's about it. There are also Bitcoin. Uh, here in woods, under the beds like this one. You can find bitcoins and gold chains and blah 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 blah. So always take a look. It doesn't hurt. Here we cross here. Watch out. Do do go always here. Be careful because there are mines everywhere here. And you die from three. It doesn't matter if you heal, they, they change it. On the third, third mine, doesn't matter if you are fully healed, you die. Before it was if you were healing, you get like, I, I don't know, like 80% from your legs. And if they were black, they will do double damage and you die and stuff like that. But now you die from the third uh, mine, doesn't matter what your HP is. So we loot this, we loot that. One of the best spawns for an ophthalmoscope I will show you in a second Let's drop some shit Because we don't have the space anymore We can drink this uh, The tape Not useful for me anymore Because uh, I was giving C cases to my community But now I cannot drop it anymore If it's not found in raid So there's no point doing the barton for them. Unfortunately. Ophthalmoscope here on the table. Under the table. And boom. Voila. Ophthalmoscope. And uh, there is a bug here. If you crouch, you cannot get up. You have to be outside the tent. To crouch. To stand. Also, uh, a lot of gold stars. Same spawn. Only one ophthalmoscope, unfortunately, this time. Uh, we go here down. You you see the antenna, right? That's the antenna from the scav bunker, right? So we go to the scav bunker. Okay. 
I always get a little bit confused here. But if you have a compass, it should be north-ish. North. Northeast, a little bit of east. You see the antenna, right? And almost nobody's here. Almost no one. Except the scabs. But the scabs are pretty dumb at the. Uh, they are retarded at night. They lose uh, a lot of IQ. Their brain and aimbot and everything is not working. So, here is a duffel bag. Uh, I had to leave for a bit. Anything interesting in the past 30 minutes? Uh, I killed like 15 more players. On Factory finish my daily. I hope I will never get again Factory. Okay, water is good. Here can there are like three spawns of bitcoins or gold chain here as well. Under the bed, like I told you guys, this bed is magic. You find bitcoins there. Uh, also duffel bag here. On woods you find pretty often graphics cards in the duffel bags. Every electrical stuff you can find here, there. Like the helix cable or what the fuck is that. Um, and a lot of goodies. Clean that, put this there. Oh shit. Forgot to drop his backpack. Okay. Now we go across. And welcome back, uh, Wolfie. I'm making for YouTube a um, small guide for woods. I said I will make it and I was keep delaying it. Here I find a lot of sugar most of the time. Moonshine as well. Now we have just a vodka bottle. Here you find pretty often Bitcoin under the bed, like I told you guys. Well, not this time, unfortunately. Okay, let's see if the cult is found. I don't think we have the time to kill them all. Uh, the cultists are a little bit harder to kill on woods. They are also stronger than customs. Much stronger, much, much more aggressive. And you cannot trick them so well. They spawn like there. They are not there now. I would say don't really go there and loot the shit. Because if the cultists are on that spot... Uh... Is I I have a filter for the stream, not for me. Like I I, I see a lot more darker. Let me show you how I see. Give me a second. Uh, should be here. This is how I see. And this is how you see. It's it's just from Streamlabs. And I have uh, my gamma on my monitor from NVIDIA control panel uh, on 1.5 for Nyrades I usually I let it on 1.5 I'm too lazy to change it so I, I would say ignore the, the sunken village right and go for the village from here you, you go to the village you just follow the shoreline right If 
Holo. It also took me a little bit more because uh, I'm showing you and stuff and also talk to the chat. YouTube, I hope you don't mind that I'm talking to the chat as well. But uh, yeah, now we get to the village, we loot the village, take the car, never forget to take money for the car, guys. And then you take the car and boom. You, you have easy half a million. I guarantee if you have a pilgrim, you get half a million loot. But it's very important, make sure to watch the flea market, guys. Many don't take any interest in the... There is a stash here somewhere. Uh, here. Uh, many people don't take interest in in the flea market and they take whatever they see but whatever you see it's not expensive you know and if you take a three slot that is 2k or oh i need this for my hideout and you don't need it found in rate don't take it just just don't take it because it's it's a waste of space you have to think always um uh, money per slot every slot you have should be at least 7 to 8k that's what the miss so we loot nice and slow the village and then take the car we'll show you the, the main spots where to look what to take Is the box here? Good and good. Mag uh, the magnet is like around 15k. The thingy, I don't know, the Krakow Scampavala sewing kit, it's like 15 to 20k on the therapist. You shouldn't really bother too much. The fuses are good for nades, you can transform them in 25k each. On the table you find a lot of sugar most of the time. Missy, can I drop something? Because we need more space. I don't have much time. Take in consideration always that you need one minute for the car. So when it's two and a half minutes we should disappear from here. Go there, here. Also, let's drop that. This is like 25k now. Um, this is cheap. I don't know how much this is now, but I want to see. This usually is like 10k. Take what you can and then replace when uh, you find something better. You know? Oh, bro. Why you, why you bully me? Did I check this? Yes, I did. Also, next building you can search it. You, you find most of the time one. One. This is dead. Uh, one sugar. A lot of food everywhere. Sugar on the table usually. Here you can also find in this duffel bag is pretty often uh, graphics cards by the way. That's are better. Inside the this box next to the box you can find the uh, graphics cards pretty often. Under the bed, this kind of bed, you can find uh, gold chain and uh, bitcoins on top as well. On the other houses, not this one. It's the same type of bed and you can find bitcoins. Here also are two boxes that are very good. Also find ammo here. Usually you find like more than 100k only on that box. 
Like I said, uh, it was an empty raid, so the spawning chests are very low. I don't know why, but I'm getting pretty much dead raids most of the time. It doesn't matter, I, I usually play on auto. Here you find moonshine. In the back of the house, it's a small swamp under the the wooden small bridge you find also moonshine as well uh, on this you find pretty often a moonshine uh, dry fuel also ammo now and then you take the car and you reset if you spawn here just loot loot the village and take the car and reset and boom this is how you improve your uh, reputation with fans. Always check this. People come from there pretty often. I killed more than 100 people with fleers. If you if you have a fleer, let's say, and you sit like this, they will come in your range and they will walk and you just shoot them in the face. While I was taking the car, I'm not camping or anything. So. And you, you get all this. So it, it, this is... I need this for a, for a daily. For the future. There is a daily that asks for two guns like that. And I have here easy one million. Easy one million. Worth loot. And you can make it in... Uh, I... It took me like around 20 minutes to do this, right? But... If you guys hurry up, right, and then you, you don't have to explain to everybody and show and blah, 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 blah. You just do it fast, fast, fast. 10 to 15 minutes, guys, and you get 1 million. Boom. That's it. Easy peasy. And thank you very much for watching. Uh, I will post this on YouTube. Also a few scabs on the way. Love you long time. Mwah.